Hi everyone, this reading is for Pisces. I got some beautiful roses laid out for you, Pisces, because I feel like you just really needed to feel some love. Okay, so as I'm doing these readings, they're for the July 15th to the 31st. As I'm doing these readings, I pretty much see a similar theme and er energy for almost all the signs that everybody's going through some craziness okay and there's a lot of love issues going on there's a lot of betrayal issues going on amongst lovers and friendships and co-workers but at the same time there's some really amazing things it's almost like things turn around so quickly um for everyone it's really a time that we're to change some things about ourselves it's a time of purging of self-reflection, of just really changing who we are, of really looking at ourselves and changing who we are. So for Pisces, I already have everything all light, laid out. Um, before I start, I'd like to say, please like, comment, subscribe. That really helps my channel. Um, it helps me be able to keep going with these videos. If you would like to donate, that would be so helpful to me too because I do all this for free and it takes me several days just to do all 12 signs. But I really love doing it for you. Um, if you would like your own reading, would like to buy one of my paintings, or just know, Nate, all the information is below. So, And I just want to thank everybody for their support. Um, so Pisces, one thing I noticed is that you got four major arcanas in your reading and they're all really super powerful cards. I feel like Pisces, the full moon that's coming up, what, the 15th, 16th, 17th, I believe is the energy this coming Tuesday. It's going to be intense and I feel it's very intense for my Pisces, okay? So your key is to meditate and I feel like you're just going to be doing it naturally. There's a lot of signs in here that shows me that that's just a natural thing that you're going to be wanting to do over the next two weeks, Pisces. So we start off your reading with a big turn of the wheel. So I didn't, I often go back and look at your two weeks previous of what was going on in your life, but what I do know is there there's a big change here for you right now, Pisces. Um, there's a big change in life whether it was a change that you wanted or not i'm not sure but i know there's a big turn of the wheel for you so changes shake up um for me you got the money card on it or you got the card of focusing on studies or focusing on art or focusing on one area of your life that you may or may not make money from but it is your passion so i feel like the turn of the wheel has something to do with your work life, but also to do what with what you do that you're passionate about. Something that you got a lot of focus on, whether that's a relationship or just painting something in your house or something that you've been studying for years. But it, this is showing me a turn of the wheel that has something to do with what you're most passionate about. Okay, and that thing could be making you money. Okay, next, what's crossing your path this month is the hangman. I feel from the 15th to the 31st, you're kind of really in a state of surrendering to the universe and healing, being authentic. I think you don't want to do anything unless you just surrendered it over to the divine will. And when I pull the angel card for the end of your reading of what you could expect over the next two weeks, you got the meditation card. So it seems like to me that my Pisces, you're going to naturally just want to align yourself. It, it just, some of you might feel stuck by this, but others of you just want to do this. The hangman is surrendering to the divine. He's not in any kind of pain. He's sacrificing so he can get divine intervention to happen in his life. It's like a meditation. They hang themselves from the tree. And people actually do this pose in India. It's a, it's a yoga pose, but it's also they hang themselves from a tree. And they just stay there for days and 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 days. And, days and, days and, days and, days and, days and it's just 
complete surrender to the divine. So this is what I feel like you're just, Pisces, you're just going to naturally be withdrawing, naturally feel like just hanging around, just meditation, you know, and aligning yourself with the divine. It's going to be a big part of your next two weeks and what you're being directed to do. It's the most ideal thing for you to be doing is being authentic. So don't do anything unless you consult it to the divine first. And if you don't get an answer, don't go forward is what you're being told. This is ideal for you. Now, here we see somebody who's maybe snuck away from the crowd or had some sort of plan and they kind of backed away from it. It's showing me that, you know, that maybe you didn't tell anybody either, you know. You're pulling away from something, but you're doing it on your own. You're not telling anybody about it. So you're making some big change, but you really want to get good guidance about that. So this is what the rest of the reading is going to talk about, is this big change in your life and this kind of sneaking away. I don't think somebody snuck away on you or did something deceitful to you. I read this Pisces as you. You're taking and you're going, okay? And you're going in a new direction that's better for you, leaving the group. Because it looks like in the recent past, and this is the energy that's now passing from your life, you did not get along with the group. There were some harsh words. You came charging in with... Okay, this is the way things is going to be now. Um, there's a money card on it or a card of reciprocal energy as if you and a group of people had an exchange of words that caused you to go in another direction. Okay, and you were very firm about that Pisces. Okay, it's as if there was some sort of fight. It wasn't too extreme, but you definitely spoke your mind. And this is causing you now to go in another direction. You've already kind of put your foot down and said, okay. But not so fast. After the full moon, everybody. Everybody got the same thing in this position. Most people got a difficulty. Because we need to wait. There's some energies that are just too strong for us. We need to wait for it to pass. So it shows me that your 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, you got some burdens that you're ready to let go of. There's been some difficulties happening. There's been some shakeups that happened before the 15th. And now you got some burdens to deal with, but you are going to deal with those, okay? And it's burdens that came out of whatever this fight was, okay? This exchange that took place, okay? And you breaking away from the crowd, breaking away from a group, going off with your own plans, not letting anybody know, okay? So there's where you're at, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. But as we get into the 20th, we're now in the hermit energy, which you're being directed to do three times in your reading. So Pisces, you're just right aligned with the energies, okay? Because you got the hangman, you got the meditation card in your reading, and you got the hermit. So you're really Pisces, any Pisces watching, rising sign, sun sign, moon sign, a lot of Pisces in your chart, or you somehow just see this and it somehow resonates with you, you just really being guided to back away, back away, which is what you're doing here. But back away and then go into a meditative state. Go into nature. Go somewhere that you get your answers. The next two weeks, don't rush the answers. Over the next two weeks, let guidance guide you. Let the light show you the way. Let your inner wisdom show you the way. But you've got to connect with that inner wisdom daily and you're going to do this. With this is a celebration card. So you're happily going away to hermit. Okay, It's a happy retreat. With this card, some of you guys might actually be going into 
uh, an ashram or India or some retreat setting that you're actually formally forcing yourself to align and, and go into meditation and you've planned this for a long time so so next in your hopes and fear position you're definitely wanting to be done with something but I see that you are I see that you make progress and I've seen that for a lot of signs not maybe not as quick as most people would like but when you go from the seven to the eight in a, in a line in a reading it shows some progress and you're ready to be done with something whatever this shakeup was and whatever this shakeup is this burden and this little bit of a fight and this little bit of sneaking away that you're doing you want to be done with something but you want to be done with it in a very proper way you're determined that you're not going to end situations with people feeling bitter people feeling angry you just want love and peace all around for everyone okay so maybe you're leaving something that you didn't plan but the universe with this wheel of fortune threw a monkey wrench into your plans and it's for the best is that's what these retrogrades and this eclipse and this full moon is doing for everyone the shake-ups to so you can look at yourself and reflect on life and learn and grow okay and you know you just want to move away from whatever difficulties you're suffering with other people because there's definitely other people involved in your situation okay whatever it is and I mean it's no big deal what it is to tell the truth because it's something everybody is going through so you're moving away from a difficulty that involved other people, that involved some finances, and involved spiritually being cut off. And now, Pisces, you're ready to get realigned. You, you want to put your spirituality and your peace of mind number one, okay? Your intuition number one. Next, we see in the in the place of others or your environment or how others see you or the effect that you're having on others there's somebody around you that is looking out into the world and turned away from you and waiting for their ship to come in and it comes two times so pisces perhaps that's the effect that you've had on your environment so this is very strong the three of wands somebody waiting they've put energy into something and they're waiting for their their cargo ships so you could be waiting for a package um somebody around you in your environment is waiting for you to reach out to them and communicate um they got their backs turned on you but they're waiting for a package they're waiting for the arrival of something okay um so maybe you're doing some enterprise with someone that you decided to pull out of so they're wondering okay now what next in your advice position you're being advised to be strong stand up for yourself cut away what doesn't serve you and don't let anybody mess around with you but you're doing it from a very feminine perspective if before you were doing it from a fighting perspective this warrior is now finished the fight okay and you're being guided to be somewhat softer okay in your approach be strong let people know that you're not going to take any crap but don't be aggressive don't be overly aggressive okay still use your feminine terms to your advantage and next we have the magician card and this is what i mean from these readings going from one extreme to the other i just did a reading i forget what sign it was i think it might have been gemini that they just went from like the most extreme heartbreak to just like being on top of the world in a two-week time period so and and really not okay the camera cut out so I'm back and what I was saying like all the readings people just go from one 
type of energy to suddenly being into this. So because you just naturally, Pisces, like always, you know how to do, your intuition is being weighed on because you did go into a meditative state, you ended up being very aligned again and having a lot of manifestation abilities. You end your reading at July 31st feeling like you can manifest anything, okay? You feel so aligned and so in your element by the end of this month, by the end of July, it's amazing. And you've conquered all these burdens. Whatever was your issue, just like a lot of the signs have gotten, boom, it's just done. By the end of this month, it's just done. You know what to do. You know that you have the power to achieve anything you want. You're feeling really on top of your game. And that comes from all the meditation that you've done. So you got the meditate card along with your reading. So it's really a big, big message for you, Pisces. And you're just naturally going to do this. So millions of Pisces around the world for the next two weeks are just going to be aligning themselves. It's beautiful. And we're going to have all this psychic energy just floating around, pass on to everybody. But the most important message you need to hear, that if you listen to Okay, Pisces, my battery died three times while doing this reading. So the message to you is recharge your batteries. But you're going to really already know that. This is going to be, you get to this point, and this is, like I say, during the full moon, maybe to the 20th, maybe you won't even make it to then when you just realize, okay, what I got to do is meditate. And you're just going to spend a week just going meditation to the point that you're just able to manifest everything that you're so aligned that life just feels so magical for you. All the burdens are going to drop. But I ask the most important message that you need to hear that if you listen to this for the next, over the next two weeks, that what they tell you to do, that you're going to be in your element like everything's just going to be so aligned for you you're going to be living your best life and you got music for manifesting and you got the manifesting card and the meditation card so i feel like your key part of part of your meditation practice is probably listening to some sort of music listening to the chants hindu chants or drumming music or the the love vibration or whatever but they're t directly telling you that there's some really big manifestation abilities for you by the end of this month and you would do better manifestation by listening with music okay okay pisces i found this reading really amazing and you even got your own little fishy here pisces energy so Pisces, I find this pretty amazing that the main message that I'm getting is that you are so aligned with universal energy and so understanding what you need to do this week that you just, nothing is going to stop you from going into meditation. Nothing is going to stop you. Okay, peace out, Pisces.